Okay. Um, there we go. Okay, so I am going to try to walk through this USDA website um, to explain a little bit further the program and show you how you can see the different areas that qualify. Now, I'll include this link as well. Um, this is because it's too long to type. So, it, there's this disclaimer, right? The first thing you click on when you get to the website, I already clicked on it. Let me see if I can go back. Okay, I can. Hey, welcome to the, our USDA Income and Property Eligibility site. So, I click on Single Family Housing Guaranteed. And so it shows you that this one is the one for the moderate income households. And if you click on this one, it'll tell you this is for low and very low income applicants. That's how I got it. Now I'm okay with it, okay? Now it's a rental property and we make a little coin off of it. So I click on the first one. And so it gives you this disclaimer that says, hey, like, you know, even though we try to keep it as accurate as we can, the areas are changing all the time. For them to qualify, for a certain area to qualify, the population has to be a certain number and a lot of other things as far as the number of developments and all of that. So as that changes, this map changes, this is just saying that, hey, check with the lender before you say, no, nope, it said on that website, I qualify, okay? So you click accept, and then it brings you to this page. So on this page, it wants you to enter an address right here. And so I just, so DR Horton has a lot of homes that qualify for USDA loans, and I like it, okay? I like it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just copy this. Um, address right here because it needs you to put in a full address. Like you can't be like uh, Dallas, Texas. Like it's like, oh, okay, no. It'll just tell you that it can't find the area. You have to put in an exact address in here. It's like of a home. You put your grandma's home, you put your sister's home. You can put a home you want that you like and just see if it qualifies um, for the USDA loan. So once you click go, right, the map does its thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then it says, this address is located in an eligible area. So as you're on the map, and boom, right, Roy City qualifies. You can continue to move the map around and see what areas don't qualify and what other areas do. Now, as you're looking at Roy City, and you see these areas, oh, look, fate qualifies. If you look in here and see there's some randomness, if you happen to find a home or something right off of this giant king, it's a nice area. It might qualify, but, and that's uh, Rockwall. This area is Rockwall. So, Faith for sure, uh, Roy City for sure, Cotto Mills, where is it? Let me see if I can do this. Nope, not under there. Nevada, if you know where that is, Josephine area, of course it qualifies. There's only like 84 people there. There's not, there's thousands of people and lots of new homes. So, um, and then what I thought was really cool was that McClendon Chisholm, so really, really nice area. Um, it qualifies. Look at Heath, y'all. Heath is on here. Heath qualifies. So I love that. Oh, look, Travis Ranch. Hey neighbors. So this is Forney. This is Forney. This all oh, look, look, for now. If you thought you couldn't, this is what's crazy to me. I don't fully understand how it works, but I like it because it works in my favor. Forney doesn't qualify, but no, Forney does qualify. Excuse me, I misspoke. Forney does qualify, but Terrell does not. There's more people in Terrell than in Forney. Ah mind-blowing stuff people mind-blowing stuff so as you go down you see all this right for nay and then talk but if you see this little cut out here this my friends is that odd separation where mesquite is in front of heartland and also on the other side of heartland this is still mesquite but this down here is heartland so Heartland qualifies for USDA loans, right? Crandall, one of the most popular, fastest growing cities in the DFW area, growing, 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 still currently qualifies. And then if you scoot on over here, 
you can see Siegelville. Siegelville qualifies. Um, is he combine? Not 100% familiar. And then look at this. Good old Wilma. 15 minutes from downtown and it still qualifies. Also because they've only built one more new neighborhood and one more apartment complex since I lived there several years ago. But that just means that you can hit the jackpot with this, okay? So as I scoot over, I wonder what other areas qualify. It's, it's just really interesting to find out. Apparently, I don't know what this line is, but it's like, uh, as long as you're under this, you qualify. Ferris, another small town. But look at Red Oak. Red Oak qualifies, and I know that's an area that a lot of people are looking for, especially a lot of people that are looking in Glen Heights also tell me that they're looking in Red Oak and Oak Villa. Well, if you're looking in Glen Heights, it doesn't qualify for USDA, still a great area, still qualifies for conventional FHA. But if you are looking in Red Oak, you have an advantage in Oak Villa. You have that advantage of the lower interest rate, lower down payment, lower closing costs. All right, and closing costs, you know, are, I think it's like two and a half to three and a half percent of the cost of the loan. So your home is, you know, $250,000, whatever, two and a half to three and a half percent of that, that's the closing cost. So it can get a little, get a little pricey. As we keep going, I just want to see some more areas. I'm seeing this with you guys. The only thing I looked at on there originally was my area. We, we, we're out here, okay? I've never heard of any of these places. I don't, I don't know where Happy Hill is, so I'm pretty sure that qualifies. Okay. Now, Chisholm Trail, we're getting over here. My wax I had to. Yeah. Godly and all that good stuff. So it looks like we've got some qualifying areas there. Crowley does not qualify like that little area. So this is like the major areas, Fort Worth, basically. These areas are overcrowded, they're not gonna qualify. But that's fine because what you will also find stop, at the top of this is more areas that do qualify. So I don't know how far north we have to go, but there are some areas up north because I got a friend up north that also does real estate and there's areas that qualify. So Roanoke, right? Nice houses, close to Trophy Club, little bougie. It qualifies right off of Business 114. So if you're in, look at that. Westlake, mm, okay. So really nice areas that still qualify for this USDA loan. But now that we're at the top, you can probably see some other cities. I don't know if y'all know where Rome is, but I always see it when I'm on my way home. Um, Justin, look at Justin. Justin has some beautiful homes that you could qualify for, okay? Argyle, literally one of the fastest growing cities in this area. It qualifies. Lantown, I mean, I've heard of it, though. I don't know a whole lot. But these areas are qualifying for USDA loans. They, they do have income limits. Again, $77,900 for low and very low income applicants. And then $112,000 is the moderate income household uh, income limit. Now, these limits change slightly depending on where you go. On the map, keep putting in new addresses on areas that you're interested in and no break. Okay, keep putting in new addresses and see, does this area qualify for you? Does this work for you and your family? Is this something that could be a good fit? You will just keep clicking through. You can click through here. You can put in as many addresses as you want to and see for yourself. This is a great loan. It's a strong loan. It's not like a any type of anything, you can refinance out of it very, very easily if you want to. So at the time, my interest rate was, I think like three and a half. No, it was like 4.2. That was the interest rate at the time. And it was low, right? Like that was a low rate. And so what I ended up getting with USDA is they took like a quarter of a percent off. 
So it ended up being like 3.99% interest rate. Well, whenever interest rates dropped to like 2.5, I got a, a 2.43, 454, a really low interest rate. So I refinanced that house into a conventional loan to get it to go from a 30 year loan to a 15 year loan. Um, Spurred on down the line, but really, really great loan program, really strong loan program. I'm going to give you guys this link so you can play around with it a little bit. Um, I might have to do a part one or part two if I can't figure out how to link these videos or part three because there's three of them. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll do my best. Okay, hang in there and play around with this map and see if this is something that could work for you or a friend or a coworker or a family member. Like just take advantage of this loan because sometimes we don't know stuff is available so we don't use it. And this is a really, really great loan. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon.